Hey guys, it's Heather, and today I have a prime wardrobe, just jeans. So I, I don't know what my problem is this morning. It's like my eyes won't wake up. Um, I, everything seems extraordinarily blurry this morning. Maybe it's because I went to bed later than usual last night, but I slept in a little bit later than I usually do this morning. So I don't know. I decided to try another Prime Wardrobe, and I haven't tried the Prime Wardrobe Stylist or whatever it is that you guys keep telling me to try. I will try that. But in this case, uh, my husband and I actually went online and started looking for denim because he knows I've been on the hunt and yes I realize that I'm going to change sizes so what you said nine million times in the last couple of months probably not that many times um, in my adult life okay before I had my son and I'm only five foot two I was 17 when I got pregnant with him I weighed 97 pounds but at that time that was normal when I gave birth to him I was 103 very very small I was a gymnast you know um, my body bounced back very very quickly um, I gained more weight I gave birth to Emily when I was 24 and I gained more weight with her and that one was my struggle um, I did lose most of that and then my old life you know things happened and I was constantly on the go eating out way too much and I gained a lot of weight not for a long period of time um, I got to a point where I wasn't happy with myself and I went hardcore. The smallest I've been since having kids was about a size four. Um, that was not a comfortable weight or size for me. I, I felt very restricted in everything I ate, everything I did, constantly working out, and it just didn't fit me and in fact one of my friends is uh, one of my issues about losing weight is that I lose weight from my face first not my neck not my abdomen not my butt and my thighs I lose it in my face and that's where I get kind of sunken in and um, one of my friends at that time told me that I looked like Skeletor and that's not a compliment in my opinion now that was in my early 30s I think um, and but again, it was not a, it didn't fit me. I didn't feel comfortable there. About a size six is where I feel the best. I feel the best in clothes. I feel the best in a bathing suit. I feel the best with no clothes on, but that's where I feel the best. I'm not trying to be pre-baby size. So I know that a size six is about where I'm going to settle in, what I'm thinking. Now, I have a feeling that in that size six, what I'm trying to do right now, they'll fit me better. They'll lay, they'll, the clothes will lay nicer on me. So what I'm focusing on is buying size sixes. Um, in different, and I want them to go on me right now snug so that I have some room to shrink a little bit and them still fit me. So that being said, my husband hopped on Amazon with me and he started searching, I started searching. And between the two of us, we actually came up with more boxes than I could possibly put in this, in this, or more, more jeans than I could possibly put in this box. But you are restricted. Um, you are only allowed to spend up to $300 in a box. So if you put one pair of you know, $200 jeans in there, you're gonna get one pair of $200 jeans and then maybe a couple lower priced items. I'm not looking for $200 jeans. I'm looking for jeans that I feel good in, that I don't feel like I'm wasting my money on. And he helped me with that. So I did have to take out two pairs of jeans after he and I worked on um, putting this box together. And I love the fact that he is so supportive and helping me. I, I need to spell Amazon. There we go. Um, in helping me find the things that make me feel the best about me. I did wake up this morning and I'm down another 0.8 pounds. So at this moment, it is 11.8 pounds. I wish it was 12, but it's 11.8 pounds. And that I'm happy with that, and I'm happy with that. So let me try to find, let's see, my orders. What? Now, was, hold on a second. Okay, so I was just able to pull it up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of jeans in here. I did not go over $300. The most expensive jeans in this box are $62.55. The least expensive jeans in this box are $22.03. 
So, all right, let's just tear open the box. And I'm just gonna try them all with this one sweater that I already currently own. Um, I actually love this sweater. I love the little buttons here. To me, it's kind of a retro look. And today it's chillier. Um, we're 33 right now. And yesterday we were 61. So I can't get the box open. Last night we went to my granddaughter's um, school performance. They sang like 12 songs. It was so cute. One of them was the Ants Go Marching One by One. That was her favorite one. She absolutely lit up on that one. And they had a bunch of little kids with little army hats on and they were the ants. And there we go, finally get the box open. Here's my little, I guess it's called Amazon Border Personal Shopper if I have someone do that. And I'll do that on my next box. I just was curious about a just a jeans haul. So you get your little sticker, you put it right back on this box. The box has an extra tab. So you just put it back opposite and it's so simple to send back. They are all wrapped in plastic. And I mean, like I said, these I, I want them to go on snug because A, when you wear them for a couple of hours, they loosen up and B, you know, my plan is for them to be a very comfortable fit straight out of the dryer. And that's what I've been having to do recently with my jeans. I can't seem to wear any of my jeans two days in a row, except for the pair that I just got from Dillard's the other day. Those I can wear two days in a row. Everything else, after one day of wear, they're loose in the waist, they're loose in the butt, and they're loose in the thighs. I need to wash them. I wash them on hot water, and I throw them in the dryer on high heat to try to shrink them up a little bit. So, and I can do that for some time. That's not a problem, but 99% of the clothing, the jeans that I own are skinny jeans. Okay, the first pair, let me just pull open the bag. I don't have like a little paper list to go by. These are by Democracy, size six petite. They're the Absolution straight leg jean in the color blue, um, and they are $55.08. So there's like a curve on the up here on the seam. I kind of like that. I think that's gonna shape. I'm hoping to shape my butt a little bit. So I know I'm going off on, on a tangent here. Part of my exercise that I've been doing is working with resistance bands. The ones I have are very, very long. They're more for hooking them up to my my um, my gym. What do you call it? My rig. The thing that you weight lift, the rig, I guess, and doing pull shoulder pull downs. That's what my son's telling me to do to kind of help me work out up here. I'm trying to wrap them around my feet to do some butt exercises, and they just keep rolling up my legs, and it hurts because I'm having to wrap them around twice. So on my FabFitFun, I noticed that there was an add-on of some resistance bands. There are three different strengths that helps tone your booty, and they're gonna be one of my add-ons. I'm looking forward to those coming. All right, fully functioning pockets in the back. There is some distressing, and they're kind of a faded wash on the front. The only thing I'm not liking is they're super, super stretchy, but maybe that's okay. Um, the, my husband found that rigid is what you look for when you're not looking for stretchy jeans. I think the word should be original, but yeah. I think they're cute. They do have a bit of an elastic band in here. I bet these are gonna be super comfy right off the rip and they are a straight leg. So that's the first pair, that's the Democracy and I've somehow moved my keyboard around so now I can't see, there we go. Next pair is by Levi's and I think there's actually a couple pair. One, two, three, four, looks like four different types of Levi's. This one is the 505 straight. It, okay, Levi's Women's 505 straight jeans, sleek blue. It is a 28 short. And one of you was telling me the difference between petite and short. I have more of an average size torso and shorter legs. And I think she was explaining to me that that meant short, not petite. Petite is going to give you a shorter length in your waist. And I like a higher waist jean. So I think what I'm looking for is short, not petite. So thank you. I can't remember your name right now, but thank you for that. Um, here is, it is a straight leg here. I don't really feel much stretch in these at all. So these are gonna probably be tough to button, I bet. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit. Um, they're just a basic blue, no distressing whatsoever. The classic Levi's pockets with the little red tag. And those were $38.66. All right, next pair. And this is a dark wash. And this is an ankle, I guess. These are by Lucky. 
I have one pair of Lucky in here. My husband's favorite jeans that he owns are Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand Women's Mid-Rise Sweet Straight Jean in Twilight Blue. The size I got was 28 by 29. So here is the color. They do have quite a bit of stretch. I don't know why I'm buttoning the buttons here. Um, ankle. And there is the straight leg. And it goes down here chewing on a toy. I really like this dark wash. I feel like the darker the wash on my thighs, the better. I feel like it camouflages some of the areas that I don't like. Um, but I also like the way just the, the distress. I feel like you can dress this up a little more than a distressed or a washed jean. It does have some whiskering right. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. And these were $44. No, I'm sorry. $59.40. All right, three more. It's a it's a huge variety here. I'm I'm kind of having fun with this, and I could not have figured this out if it hadn't been for my husband. Because I don't know if you tried to put together a wardrobe that is it gets overwhelming. These are the Levi's Classic Straight. Levi's Women's Classic Straight Seattle Blues is the color of this one. Yeah, in a size 28 short. These are $44.62, and they are more of a medium wash. Um, there is a little stretch in there, so I can get anything rigid. This one has the straight leg as well. And all of the ones I purchased are like functioning pockets, like real jeans. So um, there's the back. I kind of like that color too. When I say $44.62, I mean, these prices are incredible. Honestly, I'm getting... If I were to keep everything in the box, if I loved everything in the box, it would be just slightly over one of those really expensive pairs of jeans that I keep being sent. All right, what do we got here? This is a button up, a button fly. These are the wedgie fit. My husband found these. Levi's Women's Wedgie Straight Jeans in Pacific Fade, size 28. I guess maybe I didn't get these in a short. Did I do something wrong here? Very little stretch in these whatsoever. They do have a button fly in the front. There's a fading down leg. There's the back. They don't seem that long, so I think maybe they'll be okay. Wedgie fit. Wedgie straight. All right. What did I, did I say the price of these? These were the most expensive ones for $62.55. And last but not least, well, I like the color of these too. These are, well, these are simply stretched. That's gonna be pretty stretchy. Signature Levi Strauss Curvy Straight. I'm telling you, my eyes are all over the place right now. Okay. Signature by Levi Strauss and Company, Women's Curvy Straight Jeans Awaken in Six Short. These guys are $22.03. And it's funny, I don't see any red tags, so I guess this is a different kind of... All right, well, that's six different options. I'm going to try them all with my polka dotted socks and the shirt that I've got on. And let's see how my husband and I did... Dressing me in denim. So I put these in order, in the order of how they came in the box on my list. The first ones I'm trying on, these are the Lucky brand. Um, you know, there's slightly amount of pooling at the bottom and that's to be expected because I'm using them like a flare or a boot cut or whatever. Um, I really like these a lot. I think they fit great. And these are the, the second most expensive in the box. They are $59.40. They're, they're snug. They are snug. Just through here. I like the dark, rich color of them. I like a little bit of fading at the knee. I think it gives a little bit of a visual interest. Um, I feel like they're pretty slimming in through in here. Yeah, I think this was a good one. So I'm not keeping all six pairs of jeans for sure, so I'm going to have to choose my favorites. But these I really like. I think these are a winner. Okay, these are the Levi's Women's Classic Straight in Seattle Blue, size 
28. Um, short. The length could not be better. These are slightly loose. They're loose in the waist here, and they're quite loose here. I have, you know, there's a lot of extra room here. I'm not sure you can see the, the way it's bunching up there. Um, I think they're really cute, but I think that they're not going to fit for very long. So these will probably, no, these are $44.62. So the length, perfection. I can't see sizing down. I don't know. If I size down, does that mean they're going to get shorter too? I don't know. I'm... They're cute, they are cute. But I don't think they're my favorite. So let me get to the next ones. Next I have on the Democracy Absolution straight leg jean in a size six petite. These are crazy comfortable, holy crap. I put them on and it's, I mean, they've got quite a bit of stretch in them. So that's that's part of the reason. Um, here is the way that the, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an Absolution, so I guess it kind of sucks you in here. There's a little bit of distressing. I feel like this might make me look rounder, the way the seams are cut and the way the whiskering is. My husband says no, but I don't know. The legs, I love the legs on these. The length is perfection. So I'm gonna have to look back at the footage and see this, this part here is the part that I'm wondering makes me uncomfortable with the way that my booty is shaped. So these are the democracy ones. How much did I say these were? Forty or fifty-five dollars and eight cents. Fifty-five dollars and eight cents. But the length is incredible, and they are really comfortable. All right, let me get the next one on. Now I'm starting to sweat a little bit. These are the women's Levi's five hundred five straight. Did I say that right? Yes, straight jean in the color sleek blue, in twenty-eight short. The, there's a little extra puddling down at the bottom, a little more than I really want. Let me pull this, woo! I mean, I will step on it. I can't wear flats, which I'm not really trying to wear flats with them. These are more like rigid jeans for sure. They're snug. It's funny how all these different Levi's fit all, you know, different ways, but I think it's because they're the rigid. I do actually think these are cute. I feel like they are holding things in place. I just wish that the, yeah, I wish that down by the foot was a little less puddly. I got two more. Okay, now these are the Levi's Wedgie Straight Leg in Classic Fade. I think that's what I just read. In a size six. These, I don't think were petite. No, these were not petite, but they are definitely right at my foot. These feel a bit old school. Um, I think this with a little pair of white heads would make me feel like I'm back in the 80s. I did decide to roll one up because I think that would be kind of fun with a little pair of white sneakers. And I'm actually asking for a couple little pairs of fun sneakers, spring, summer sneakers. Whoo, in my next trunk club. I'm telling you guys, put on six pairs of jeans and see if you sweat. These are snug, to say the least, and they're button fly. So when you're trying to button, button up something that's already snug, that's a workout in itself. So I'm wondering if they make my butt look flat. I don't know. See, so put my jeans down. But with that down, I know I kind of like them. I'm curious to see how these look for you guys. I kind of like these. I think these are fun and feel old school. And I feel like my sweater is old school, so I feel like I'm rocking the 80s right now. All right, let me get the very last pair on. Okay, I really wish I had a paper to read to you right now because by the time I get situated, my husband has the camera on, I have forgotten what it says. These are the Signature by Levi Strauss Curvy Straight Leg Jeans in the Color Awaken size 6 Petite. Woo! Okay. Um, these, the length of them are great. The, fade, the fading is okay. Um, they are a little different. They... They are very, very, very comfortable. I mean, very comfortable. Like, they're gonna be too big on me soon, is what I feel. But I think that they're a great fit. And all in all, my husband and I picked out six pairs of jeans for me to try on today, and I could wear all of them. One was a little longer than I wanted it to be, 
but I've not received any style boxes that's had six pair of jeans that have all been able to go onto my body. So I know, now I'll look back at the footage and I'm gonna see what you're seeing and try to make some decisions and I'll let you know what those are. So that was actually kind of fun. Um, I was sweating, but now I'm freezing. I've now shut the window. It's 33 degrees outside, so my office got really cold really quick once the heat from the try-on dissipated. So let's quickly let you, I'll quickly let you know which ones I've decided to keep. I'm keeping two of the six, and I did look online to see if they had other options size-wise, because you know each, each jean is gonna be cut differently, made differently, even within the same brand. And I think that's where things get tough, uh, for, especially for women, because most of the time they are not, um, like a men's waist, my husband wears a 34, 32, something like that. And just about any time, just about any time he grabs a, a pair off the shelf, they fit him, the, you know, they have the right amount, the right waist and the right length. He just may not like a certain style or whatever. Um, and, and for us women, because they're made so differently, it can get very, very frustrating. And I'm right there with you in the frustration factor. I'm keeping two pairs. I'm keeping the first pair of the Lucky Brand Mid-Rise Sweet Straight Jean in Twilight Blue, size 28, 29. They did that right. It's, here it says it's a six or 28 ankle length. They do have some stretch to them, but um, they were snug enough. I can wear them now and they're gonna get more comfortable later. And if by some chance I end up shrinking out of them, then like I told my husband, I'll sell them and I'll go shopping again. So um, I liked the, the rich dark color of this. I think once I wash them once, this, the, they're gonna shrink up just a little bit. But if not, these will be something I wear with booties or wedges or whatever. But I really liked these and these were $59.40. And the other ones, shockingly, these are the tightest pair I put on. These are the Levi's Wedgie Straight High Rise Snug Through Hip and Thigh. It specifically says snug through hip and thigh. And absolutely, they were. But they are rigid jeans. There is, let me button these up. I, I, and I wish it said rigid on there. They have, I'm, I'm pulling y'all. I mean, there might be a tiny, tiny bit of stretch in there, but I'm gonna say something that's kind of controversial. I hear people telling me, or videos all over YouTube, that people absolutely love the Witten Wisdom jeans. For me, do when you put them on in lengthwise, you know, uh, waist-wise, can you find a pair that fits you right off the rip? That was super simple. I wear a, I even, okay, at this point, I probably would go even smaller, but they are not true to size. They are, I want to say vanity sized. Um, I, when I was in a very snug eight, which is what started this whole thing is my eights were getting snug. When I was in a very snug eight, those are the ones I gravitated towards because, and then they were a six because there is so much stretch in them that they feel like you're wearing leggings. Not even so much jeggings because the material is very thin. This is just my opinion. I'm, and some of you may absolutely love them. But I have thighs. I have no thigh gap. I have hips. I have booty. And my thighs touch when I walk. And the inside, <clears throat> excuse me, between the legs, that material is so thin that it became like paper thin. And you could see like this wrinkle in the fabric because there's so much elastic in them that they got this wrinkle look. Like after you'd pull them out of the wash, you'd you know be folding them up and they would be wrinkly. Now, while I wear those for just running around, yes. While I wear them for lounging around the house, I could put them on just like I was wearing my leggings that I'm wearing right now. They are that comfortable. I don't think they last long. I think the elastic in them wears out very, very quickly and they don't hold anything in. So if you're not looking to hold anything in, they're probably wonderful. If you just want a comfortable, easy to wear pair of jeans, that is no problem whatsoever. But if you're looking for a little bit of structure and you don't want like my saggy booty or my you know thighs to just jiggle when you walk, that's what happened in those jeans. So I'd be mad, I'm sorry if I made you mad. They're not my favorite jean for that reason. 
Um, I just think they're made too stretchy. And there is, there for me, there is too stretchy and those were too stretchy. And I tried several pairs. And they do say size down because they do tend to run large, whatever. And that makes you feel great when you're barely squeezing in a size eight in regular jeans and you're putting very comfortable size six petite on and you've got all this stretch in them that they don't even feel like you're putting on a pair of denim jeans. And I think that's what started the hunt is it doesn't, wasn't, wasn't holding me in. I hope I didn't just upset y'all because I know there are some people who absolutely love those jeans and that's fine. Each person is different. Each body is different. But I, that's when I started looking for jeans that weren't so elastic that when I washed them, my husband has pairs of jeans that he had for 20 years. Do they look faded and old? Yes. But how, are they still well-made, well-structured jeans that you know he could wash another thousand times and have no problems with them? That's the old school Levi's. And that's what I've been looking for. And these wedgie straight jeans are the closest that I have found to that. They were snug, there's no doubt about it. Will I wear them now? I will wear them now. And maybe after a couple of hours, they might get a little more comfortable. But they have so little stretch, and they still have a little bit, and that's why I'm thinking I can wear them now. But these I will be able to wear for at least another size. I, at least another size. So I'm keeping those two pairs. That comes to, let's see, that's $59 for the Lucky brand and the wedgie jeans for the 62. So yes, I am keeping the two most expensive pairs. Now, hopping over onto, I clicked on some of those to see what other sizes they came in. The, the Democracy Curvy Straight Jeans, these are very stretchy. I would liken these to the Wit and Wisdom. If I were to try these again, and these are the, the curvy, are these the curvy straight? I'm telling you, I'm getting so overwhelmed. No, that was the Levi's. That was the this pair. Okay, let's let's talk about let's, let's talk about the democracy first, and then I'll go to the Levi's. These I would size down these in a four, but there's definitely a difference in material. These are thicker, heavier. These are very thin and very, very comfortable. If I were to try these again, and I may, I will size down into a size four in these, which is unheard of for me. But I did kind of like these jeans. I thought the length was great. Um, I liked the wash on them. Just wish they were a little less stretchy. So, I mean, they would be $55.08 if I sized down in a four for those. The Levi's curvy straight jeans, and I'm starting to get them all confused in my head. I tried to keep them in some sort of an order here so I wouldn't confuse you. This was, I believe, the last pair of jeans I tried on. I have got the SIM card in here, so I can't double check. But I believe that they were the last pair of jeans I tried on. They're the signature by Levi Strauss and Company, women's curvy straight jeans in size, uh, these were size six shorts in the color Awaken. Um, these were very comfortable, and they are a little thicker so not much but it's a different where these feel smooth and silky these have a little bit of a thicker heavier but not to this degree of the wedgie um, and they were the curvy straight which felt really nice around my hips because I am a curvy girl so I may actually try these again in a four short and I put them in my cart for their $24.99. I will not order another Prime Wardrobe to try these. Um, I can get them in one day. If I don't like them, I can send them back in one day. So that's not a problem. I just thought that this would be a fun way for me to try on just jeans. But I did kind of like these. Um, they're, I'd like to see what these look like in A4. And that, that might be going too small. I don't know. But they were so comfortable and they do have some stretch. Not as much stretch as the democracy. Now, that, let's see in the democracy jeans, this is an elastic panel. I'm doing it again. This is an elastic panel all the way around, which is unbelievably comfortable. There's no doubt about that. So if you're strictly looking for comfort, that's, that's fine. These Levi's don't have that. This is just denim all the way around with a tiny bit of stretch in them. So between the two, I'm going to try this pair only because I don't have any other curvy jeans and I, for the days that you don't want everything sucked in, that's that's the way to go in my opinion. 
So that's it for my Amazon Prime jean try on. Let me know your thoughts down below. I mean, for 25 bucks, if I don't like them, I can send them back. But I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the amount of jeans and the different styles that I got with the different, brand, the different brands. Yes, I know most of them are Levi's, but every one of the Levi's was something different. It was a different type of a Levi. And I think that's fun. I think it changes the way an outfit looks when you have a different style of jean. So, whew. Okay, guys. I need to vlog a little bit for my weekly vlog. And today, I'm doing a test on the bike. And I'm a little nervous about it. But that's why I didn't do too much. I really want to wear those extensions. I want to put those extensions in and rock them. But with me working out every single day, it's not uh, putting them in. I'll be taking them right back out again. So <sighs> one day I will not work out every single day. One day right now, I still feel like I need it. And that's what I'm doing. Let me know your thoughts about all these jeans below. Which ones were your favorite? Have you tried something like this? Uh, what, what is your favorite jean off of Amazon? If you're a petite or a short or whatever, that's, you know, and, and please forgive me if, if you're a major Witten Wisdom fan, they're very comfortable jeans, but they don't hold up well for me. So I hope you guys have a very happy day. I hope you will like, subscribe. Hope you leave comments in the description box below. I hope you'll hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload my new videos. And I will see you guys later. Bye.